pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? He sure is. Nick Walker is a Broadway star continually on the rise, and now he's back in the spotlight in Hamilton. Let's send it out to Charlie Cooper. That's right, Tamsin. This marks a return to the role of Aaron Burr for Hamilton leading man Nick Walker, and we got to chat at the Time Hotel. You have a long-standing history with Hamilton, started out on Broadway in Hamilton, then took Aaron Burr on the road, mm -hmm. then Ain't Too Proud, and now you're mm -hmm. back. Yeah, What's that feeling like for you? I will say I'm incredibly grateful. I think that's the, the most important thing um, because it didn't have to ha happen this way. And as we've seen, right, Broadway is, it, it, it's trucking, it's here, but it's, it's hard in these streets, like it's real. Yeah. And you know, this team, um, obviously they built a show that changed the face of theater forever um, and reverberates and reverberates and reverberates but on top of that they're also just good kind loyal people and I, I don't say that just because they pay me I say that because they, they truly are and and so for them to call me and be like hey come on back is just an honor it is very surreal um, I do not feel like I mean I, I I am a 10 year old in a 34 year old man's body so I do not feel like sh I should be uh, starring in a, anything uh, or leading anything uh, but I am I am honored to try and give it my best so you are part of this massive show that's what they tell me obviously you took a little bit of a break from it what do you miss most about it and like kind of can't wait to get back to you know I would say the thing that I miss most about Hamilton, or missed most about Hamilton, you have a show that is literally built to challenge your brain. It is the West Wing of musical theater. It is, it is so many words and, and, and so much nuance, and you can never dig too deep into these characters. Even now, you know, I've been uh, off and on doing this show since 2016. Even coming back on my first night, discoveries are being made. Mm. It does not get stale. It will never not be hard. Um, and that is a gift for an actor. That is a gift to be able to say, oh my God, here is this thing that will just grow as I grow and can change as I change. And again, to have a creative team who's like, even you know, now in 2022, we're not trying to have you come in and do Leslie. You do you. It's, I think, taking that and being able to bring that new perspective, that's what I missed. But I would say that, you know, I think the, the wonderful thing about Burr for me is that like, and this is part of what I missed, he is such a good catharsis for all my dark little demons <laughs> that we all have in this industry. Like, you know, cause it's, look, it's, it, this industry, it, it, it breaks you down. It, 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 it really puts you through things. And I think that Lynn uh, so beautifully gave voice to so much of what we experienced through Burr, um, just in terms of that envy and that jealousy and things that we know we don't need to hold on to, but sometimes just bubble and bubble, and that is Burr. So of course you took a little bit of time away from the show. Um, what are some things that you feel like you're bringing that's like new and fresh to the show and to that role? I think that the best way to answer that question would be to answer it in, in pop culture references. There's so many parallels between a Tony Stark and the Burr. Tony Stark as a character, right, is all about suppression, right? He knows who he is, and he knows who the world thinks he is, mm -hmm. um, and those two things are all, oftentimes diametrically opposed. And I think the same with Burr. Burr is a character for whom he is very focused on what the world wants him to be and what, what he has been asked to be. Um, but, but maybe 10% of him inside knows that uh, it doesn't all have to be about the chase. It doesn't all have to be about the climb. So I think that that's kind of what, I, what I've been bringing to it is just kind of that, that kind of uh, what happens when you suppress those emotions for a long time. Uh, so there's a snarkiness that sometimes comes out in my burr. Like, I love exploring the idea that he is the Princeton prodigy. What does it mean to be the status quo of something? What does it mean to be someone who is truly like, like, a, you know, holding the thing down? Right. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, I just kind of put it in a blender and like, pray to God it works. <laughs> and you know, if they tell me it works, then I'll keep doing it. So. You know what? I love, I love that you just said my burr. And I think that that's such a great point because like, Obviously, with uh, the show being released on Disney Plus and people being able to see it really all over the place, yeah. one might think, why should I go and see it on Broadway when I already watched it on Disney Plus? But yeah. like, literally, your burr is your burr, and I imagine it's completely different depending every, on. And no, completely. Everyone that you see in this show, every company that you see in this show, I think it's I think it's what makes Hamilton so special, um, is that they really don't try to confine anyone to anything that's been done before, to their credit. And so you see any company of Hamilton, you are going to see a completely different show. 